Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania just broke her silence on Trump trashing Omarosa and drops the hammer hard. From the first time I saw President Trump hit the campaign trail, I never doubted that he adored Melania and she felt nothing but love and admiration for him. The left has constantly tried to allege that their marriage is in disarray and that Melania is getting ready to leave Trump at any moment. President Trump's former aide, Omarosa Manigault Newman, became one of the left's minions in her new book Unhinged, where she claimed that the Trumps were on the verge of divorce. At first, Melania seemed to have nothing much to say about the accusation. Her silence is now over and she's dropping the hammer hard on the allegations by Omarosa. Melania's office has issued a statement that solidly refutes claims by Omarosa that she is seeking a divorce from Trump. The statement suggests that Omarosa should be more grateful for the opportunities afforded to her by President Trump. There's no arguing with that. Not only did Trump have her repeatedly on The Apprentice, he brought her on his White House team when her qualifications certainly didn't merit it. He gave her a chance to serve her country and instead, she is serving herself. Omarosa is a TV celebrity, not a marriage counselor. But that doesn't stop her from trying to play one in real life. Evidently, the book insinuates that due to Trump's alleged affairs, Melania can't wait to dump him. That's just laughable. In my opinion, Melania is counting every minute until he's out of office and she can divorce him," the former aide wrote. Then she really stepped over the line by suggesting that if the first lady were to divorce Trump while he was in office, he might counter by negating her citizenship. He can't do that and anyone who knows anything about the law and the Constitution would tell you that. She's just making stuff up and it's not only entirely false, it's disgusting. Omarosa claims Melania divorcing and punishing Trump. Office of the First Lady just responded. Mrs. Trump rarely, if ever, interacted with Omarosa. Omarosa was obviously furious that Kelly fired her and that Trump let it happen. She's being childish and petulant about it. Frankly, Kelly did the right thing. She thinks very highly of herself and because she feels she was slighted, she is turning on someone who was a very good friend to her. Way to bite the hand that feeds you. Omarosa went on to address Melania's fashion choices, which far outclassed the TV reality star's own fashion sense. She went after the I really don't care, do you? Jacket incident and had the nerve to claim it was meant to punish President Trump. Again, there is nothing to back that up and it doesn't even make sense. I believe that happened after she left the White House so how would she even know? I believe Melania uses style to punish her husband, Omarosa writes. At any time, if she so desired. She could humiliate him in public with small, ambiguous gestures, just as he'd openly humiliated her with his affairs and lascivious behavior for years. Omarosa has no idea what Melania thinks and she has no right to pretend she does. She claims that she had a great connection with Melania. I highly doubt that assertion. It didn't take long for Melania to shoot down those claims. Her office indicated that they never really interacted with each other at all. Melania's communication director Stephanie Grisham made that crystal clear by saying that the First Lady rarely, if ever, interacted with Manigault Newman. Why would she? Their paths would not cross as Omarosa was an aide to Trump, not Melania. They certainly weren't close friends. Grisham continued speaking for Melania, it's disappointing to her that she is lashing out and retaliating in such a self-serving way, especially after all the opportunities given to her by the president. Very, very true. Omarosa signed a non-disclosure agreement when she went to work in the White House. She has obviously broken the terms of that agreement and I would wager she is going to have legal troubles over all of this. And she should. This is not reality TV, this is the presidency and your actions have consequences. But her legal woes may not end there. A number of people that Omarosa has claimed were involved in incidents with the president are claiming that she is not telling the truth. She is making accusations with no proof to back them up and that will not end well for Omarosa. Her recording White House officials in the Situation Room is also something that will get her in legal hot water. Kellyanne Conway's husband, George Conway, is nixing a story about President Trump using racial epithets in addressing him. Pollster Frank Luntz also stated that Omarosa did not tell the truth when he was named as an individual who had heard President Trump use the N-word. I'm in, Omarosa's, book on page 149, Lutz tweeted. She claims to have heard from someone who heard from me that I heard Trump use the N-word. Not only is this flat-out false, I've never heard such a thing, but Omarosa didn't even make an effort to call or email me to verify. Very shoddy work. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.